Hey YouTube, so on my BX23S here, uh, I have my propeller shaft uh, fan, the hydrostatic fan, uh, that's plastic. I have a bunch of fins missing off of it. So I'm going to take some time today to make a video for you guys and see if uh, we can't get it replaced. I've uh, done a little research on it as far as uh, the BX25s. And it uh, doesn't seem too difficult, looks a little time consuming, but uh, I'll go underneath the tractor here and uh, show you what we got going on. Alright you guys, so here we are underneath the tractor. I'm hoping that this will be just like the 25 uh, BX25D uh, in the effect of, I've seen a video on that. So we're going to try it out and I'll take it with you, I'll take you guys with me, so then we'll know for sure, but... According to that, we've got to remove uh, the three bolts off this, three bolts off this, slip this up in here somewhere just to get it out of the way, then slip this collar back. I guess there's a snap ring in here that, oh, well, it's hard to get it on camera here. That, that snap ring there, if you can see it, got to take that off. I guess there's some uh, ball bearings in there that are prone to falling out. Uh, so we'll find out about that, but then that's going to get tucked away up on this side or wherever, I guess. Uh, that way we can slide this shaft. It'll have room to go forward, I guess, about three inches. Then coming to the back here, there's my fan. As you can see, I only got two blades left. Um, I guess we got to remove this cover here. Uh, looks like just a couple bolts on each side there on the other side as well and then back here I guess uh, I don't know yet if I gotta do the same thing I, I was under the impression uh, I didn't have to take off this rubber boot and everything again like the front but if I have to so be it uh, but I guess there's a bolt it looks like that one right there because I was told that 8 o'clock position uh, that needs to get removed in order to slip past it because there's a bolt coming in through the side uh, coming into the propeller shaft, holding holding this to the transmission uh, shaft as well. So there's a little keyhole in the uh, fan here. I saw it on this side, so bring you around. That's the keyhole, but it's going to have to get on the other side uh, in order to uh, line up with the bolt. But to do that, you know, you'll just spin the shaft, you know, with the pry bar or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to get started on that, and uh, I'll bring you guys back when i got something to update. I'm hoping this goes smooth. Date. So I got that front plate off. Obviously I put the, uh, the one that connects right to the engine up in here. I actually dropped out the other one. It's right there. A couple of the ball bearings, as you can see, sit in here. There's two of them still in here. Two of them are out. And then uh, again back here same setup you just had to take off that snap ring and that popped out and uh so now i'm about to remove this assembly sorry my hands in the way this whole assembly and then that will get me at the fan obviously so i'll do that next all right you guys so what i ended up doing is drilling a hole from the top here this gets you right down it's not lined up right now but if it were this will get you right in there. Puts you perfectly in line with it. There's a hole up here at the top, but the trouble is you gotta drill a hole through your tractor. Fortunate for you, you'll know exactly where to drill it. Unlike myself. <laughs> with my first attempt, I'm gonna have to plug it up. I'm just gonna put the old plug I took out with the hole saw and tack it in there and make it all pretty again. Because after this, all I'm gonna do is just take a, a little grommet plug pop it in there and it'll be just like that that does not bother me one bit just picture this being away for the time it saved not to mention not being able to get at it the other way maybe it's different than the bx25s that i would read about but it's definitely not the case i can't get at it any other way and this just seems to be the most effective way unless you want to remove all the fenders and everything which not sure what kind of hole you're digging if you do that, so just an update and bring you guys back. So when I removed this bolt from that little hole I cut, 
I noticed how stripped out it was. And it came to me that the reason why that is is because uh, I had ha taken this in for warranty work for that rubber bellow that sits right here, that just that collar that protects it. That was torn and it was whipping around down there, so I tore the rest of it off and brought it in for service when they serviced my uh, uh, the quick attach for the um, front end loader on the hydraulics. And they must have just freaking ran that thing down, stripped it, and that's uh, why it came out like that. I thought that was funny. I don't understand how that would even happen, but that's what it was. Luckily for me, I don't know if we'll be able to see in the camera, those threads still look good. Yeah, I don't think it's going to make it out. But the threads still look good. I'll chase it with a tap. There, maybe you can see. They're not stripped, actually, on that side. It doesn't look like it. So luckily that was softer than the metal that they made that out of. So yeah, I'm going to just have to go get another bolt because that's metric and I don't have any of them handy. Well, yeah, we'll catch up with you a bit later. I mean, as far as replacing this, I'm sure it's just those two bolts pop out and pop on the new one. So that should be pretty straightforward. But yeah, I'll catch you back up when uh, I get all this probably put together. All right, you guys, I just thought I'd bring you back quick before I put on the skid plate or whatever you want to call that thing that doesn't work. But so the new fan's on, got the shaft back in the propeller shaft. All this is back together. I just did those pretty snug. I guess I didn't get a torque spec for it. And they got a little lock washer underneath it, but I'll just keep an eye on it. You know, make sure nothing's coming loose and check up on it in a few hours. But um, yeah, as soon as I uh, figured out that hole, I probably spent more time uh, patching up the old one, but uh, that's the way to do it for sure. I'll, when I'm back up there, I'll take a video maybe with the tape measure there in case anybody else wants to do it that way because I tried you can see that bolt where it's leaking a little bit uh, from having it open that's that transmission bolt that they talk about I tried it there's no way you can do that with I don't know something must have changed probably between the 25 and 23 uh, BX now because there's just no way you're gonna get that other bolt out I was able to get this one out, but that was using a ratchet coming out of the front, which you won't be able to do once you, these propeller or the fins are back on your uh, fan. And there's just there's no room. That, that's ridiculous. There's no way. I mean, I don't know unless you got some real small hands and midget wrenches or something. But otherwise, that coming in through the top. I mean, you don't have to mess with that bolt at all. All you do is drill that little, I mean, I, I drilled a one inch hole because I have one inch plugs already handy, but I mean, you could do whatever you wanted and just do it big enough to make the socket fit to make it easier on yourself, but simple as that, easy. But well, that's it then. I'm going to button this up down here and then uh, take it back up to the top. Just a quick little trick if you're trying to hold a, a bolt or something in there. You see their tape the end of it or like this is just a piece of plastic jammed in there and that holds it so then it can't fall out on you hey guys so here's another look at that hole I drilled as you can see I kind of got the other one patched up I'm gonna have to sand this down again because I'm an idiot and continued working on the wet paint but so as you can see I don't know just to give you a ballpark idea about two and a half inches or so over just about in between the two holes. I mean, as long as you're somewhat close to this, I think you'll be all right, because it's just my first hole was way far off. But I mean, you can see, it's got the little plastic still on it, because I'm not about to take it off. But um, that's right down to it. It's that easy. All right, guys, there she is, all buttoned up. Cap doesn't even really look out of place or anything, so if that's what you're worried about. More, more out of place is the fresh paint. <laughs> but you guys shouldn't have to worry about that as long as you put it kind of close to where it needs to be. Alright, thank you guys. Please like this if it helped you out. 
Comment on it if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel, please. Thank you.